Good afternoon, boys and girls. <laughs> Welcome back to zoology. So this week we'll be working on the parts of the mammals. Now, different mammals will have different parts, but we'll focus on the horse, the parts of the horse this time. Uh, mammals share the same parts. Some of them are more specific to the horse, but we'll, we'll explain how they're all similar as we go. Of course, the mammal, like the horse, is a very special animal. Remember, the mammal is an animal that um, has warm blood as opposed to the reptile. So the mammal can actually keep itself warm with its hair and its fur because the inside of its body is very warm. They're going to have all the same parts as the other animals we talked about, plus a couple others. Starting with the head, of course the head has the same purpose of all the other animals. It has the ears, it has the eyes, and the mouth, and the nostrils, and the brain. So the head of the horse is no different. All mammals have heads, and they have the same parts in their heads. And then we go into the eyes of the horse, and every mammal will have eyes of some kind. Most mammals will have eyes that will be on the front, on the front of their heads. You can see on the horse, they're facing more forward than they were on the reptiles or amphibians. This helps the horse see in front of it a lot better. Can't see as well to the sides, just like on humans, we have our eyes in front, but it helps it to uh, move very quickly. We know the horses can move very fast because they have better vision in front of them. And all mammals will have eyes in these different positions, but they all have the same purpose. Moving on to the muzzle of the horse specifically, but also it's like the mouth of all the other mammals as well. The muzzle of the horse is where its nostrils, its mouth, its lips, its teeth, the start of the digestive tract, it's where it breathes. So the muzzle of the mammal has all those same parts. On the horse, we can see it's got the nostrils, very large nostrils for the horse. It's got the lips and the mouth and the teeth. And for all the other types of animals, they have the same type. The muzzle of the seal has the nose, the mouth, same things. Even the muzzle of a tiger. We do call it the muzzle still, it's the mouth. It has all the same parts. Same thing with the, um, the monkeys, cats, bunny rabbits. They all have a muzzle that house their, their nostrils and mouth and teeth. But then, something that's more specific for the horse, something called the forehead. This just means it's the forward part of their skull. For means forward. Where's that word where it comes from? So the forehead of the horse is a hard plate on the skull, and most animals will have that. The forehead, very strong. And some animals that have the, the nostrils on the forehead. But most of these animals you can see have that same thing. They have a forehead. The strong plate of the skull, usually where the eyes are located as well. Then, on the horse, it has something called four locks. This is a little bit of hair that goes down by the eyes. It's to help protect the head, also to maybe smack away some of the um, flies and things that come after it. But this is the beginning of hair on mammals, just like humans have hair on their head. The four locks on the horse are the start of hair on the head. And many mammals have hair. The seal has very slick hair and fur to help it swim. The lion, of course, has very iconic striped fur. All these animals have a little bit of hair on the top of their head, the forelocks. And the cow, the little white part. And of course, the part that all animals have, the ears. On mammals, the ears are a little different. Notice that they stick up. They have ear lobes. This help, um, helps them with their directional hearing. They can now hear better directions by turning their ears. Have you ever seen a horse actually turn its ears toward sound? Or think of your dog as it picks up its ears to collect sound. Because the ear lobe acts as kind of like a cup or a, um, a catcher that catches the sound waves so it can hear a lot, um, a lot better in different directions. And most of the mammals will have those too. The seal doesn't really have ear lobes, but it has the ears. Cats have ear lobes. The cat ears pick up when they hear things. Same thing with monkeys and cows and especially bunnies. You see the big ears on the bunnies and the cats as well. So all mammals will have ears of some kind. Most of them have some form of ear lobe as well to help them with directional hearing. And of course the neck of a mammal. Most mammals have necks and they are very good at turning. 
so that mammal can see in multiple directions. We know of the horse, it can turn its head very far, it can turn it all the way around almost to see behind it as well. The next very important to be turning so you can see around yourself, you can see in front, behind, the sides, it can help you hunt and it can help you run away when you're in danger. So all the mammals will have a neck, except if you look at the whale, notice that it doesn't really have a neck. It's a different type, but it's also a mammal. This is still a mammal. It has all the other same parts, but its neck is a little bit different. It can't really turn its head as much, but all the other mammals have a neck that helps them hunt and defend themselves. Now, there's many other parts that make mammals um, special, but we can learn about those in our next lesson. So what you need to do, you need to pick the mammal that you want to make a report on. It could be the horse, just like we have here. It could be any other mammal that you have, maybe your dog or your cat at home. I want you to highlight or draw the parts of the mammal, label them, and then tell me what they do. What's that part's purpose? Okay? So, thank you for joining us for our zoology circle about the parts of the mammal. I'll see you next time.